Let's talk about some animals we know, like the axe beak, baboon, badger, and bloodhawk. The bloodhawk. <laughs> bloodhawk. And the bird ball. The bird ball. And the cranium rat. Oh, I remember cranium rat. Bird ball versus bloodhawk. I gotta love the man dog who will win. No matter who wins, we lose. <laughs> Bloodhawk sounds like either like a 90s Dark Age superhero or the pre-evolution to Murder Falcon. <laughs> I was just going to say, like, it sounds like a parody of a metal band. Uh, what about Gut Hash? Uh, Gut Hash? That, mm. That's Gut too hash. close to Gash, and I'm not about that. See, you're just naming fake metal bands. No, Gut Hash is the name of like uh, a southern dish that's like mm-hmm. just made it's of chitlins. like scra- like it's along like yeah or like a long line of scrapple. Yeah. It's like por- it's like a corned beef but it's all pork bits. Yeah. With chopped potatoes. That sounds amazing and I'm so hungry. Yeah, <laughs> I could I would fuck that up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like some brown gravy, like some really cheap poutine gravy. Oh, oh man, mm. throw some hot sauce on that. Yes. Perfect. A perfect meal. And an egg. Just a soft... Oh, gotta crack an egg. Gotta crack an egg on it. That's what you get for breakfast at the dog cafe. (laughs) Yeah. I recently got an Eggs Benedict, and the eggs were poached all the way through. Oh, no. And I have never been more disappointed at breakfast. bad. I'm so sorry. I once got chicken wings, and they were like... They looked like they'd been dehydrated before they were fried. They were the driest grossest things i've ever eaten gross i recently learned how to batter chicken like in chinese food restaurants and i'm going to abuse this knowledge yes i saw you make the general's house it's very yeah we saw that yeah (laughs) follow sahoni for some fucking general so's asmr absolutely (laughs) that's not any of those things that make sense but here we are we did it (laughs) we just ended the game My name is Gar Atkins, but you can call me Sahoni. I use he, him, and I play Dodger, a cleric of sorts who's also a wolf boy of sorts, and he also uses he, him. I am Gina Dazer. I play Navenia Drexel. We both go by they, them, and are very good at speaking. I'm a changeling bard sorcerer. And I'm Eric, aka Rhythm Bastard, he, him, and I play Oi, the punk drow monk. He likes to punch things, rock the hell out, and hopefully by this time I would have beaten Hollow Knight, because that game is really good. <laughs> and I'm Madison Rowan, I go by she, her, and I play Koyos, the crocodile man druid who really loves dogs. <laughs> And I've got Barry with me. He's been here the whole time, and I love him. And I'm Sam. I play Indivisible. It's a new game from Lab Zero that I helped <laughs> fund on Indiegogo like four years ago. And right? I am just jazzed as heck right now. I also play uh, <laughs> my character, Kier. There it is. That's his name. Uh <laughs> I use they, them. Here uses he, they. And I am Luke, your game master. I use he, him. And I liked the remake of Link's Awakening. I just felt like for 60 bucks, it, there wasn't a lot of game there. Yeah, it's still a Game Boy game. Like, yeah, it's still, I, it's still very much a Game Boy game. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that I, I don't want to devalue the work that went into it because they oh, rebuilt yeah. the thing from the ground up. But it's still a Game Boy game level of content. Mm-hmm. Like Best maybe an though. extra level or two, or like add more pieces to the dungeon builder. Does it have the stuff that was included in DX and like the Game Boy Color yeah, version? The color dungeon? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then, eesh, yeah. Uh, okay. We're. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. We review games.
RPG games chat. Goose game, real good. Review video games. I like Dragon Quest XI S on the Switch. I've been playing a decent amount of Graveyard Keeper, so that's kind of fun. <laughs> well, no, we should probably get back nope. to the game Matt, because yeah. uh, Madison's the only one who hasn't said a game. Madison, say a game. <laughs> game. Yeah, okay. Well, okay. I, 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 <laughs> I said goose game. <laughs> okay. I just want to be a horrible goose. Same. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. You just right. said to say game. We all did it. We all had Okay. Some. So we're having one of those classic combats. Bump, 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 bump. All right. Fuck. What? What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a cap it's, axe. Wait, we're going to Pokemon now? We can't talk our way out of it? Uh, Yes. Well, there is a big man with an axe, a uh, human with a large axe, very little clothes, and I want to get your box. Give it to me now or I'll have to fight you all. I don't like strange men in the alley saying I want to get your box. I change into him. Oh yeah, other me. Now there's two of us to fight the two of them. Did Satoshi send you? Yeah, I'm here because you're here. We're best buds and brothers. Yeah. Crossing guard forever. Crossing guard forever. Oh, but before we fight, remember where our, our hideout is? I got hit on the head in that other fight. Oh, that explains. Wait, wait. I'm gonna I've punch never him in the been face. hit on the head. <laughs> okay, roll a. <laughs> I while they're talking, can I say that I got my what? Uh, the rapier out. Yeah, yeah. I'm giving them time to like prepare. That exchange. Okay, cool, sweet. If that was six uh, seconds. <laughs> Yeah, roll a uh, just melee, an unarmed strike strike to punch him in the face. Very good. I'm very good at fighting. I'm. So, you know how in last game I rolled a two (laughs) and then I rolled a one? (laughs) The funny thing with math, if you add those together, that's what I rolled this time. (laughs) Uh, You try and punch him in the face and you miss. Uh, And I'm going to need initiatives. (laughs) Boop, boop, boop. Boop, the hell? Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> it's time for our once in three episodes fight. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look, we rolled more than once last game. It's amazing we're even doing anything now. Yeah. Listen, people come to RPG Pals Club for the pals. The club. <laughs> Not for the RPGs. Uh, yeah. For the R and the P's and the G's, but barely. Yeah, there's there's way better podcasts for that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, if you want fighting, go to your fucking Matt Mercer. <laughs> yeah, go go watch one of his seven-hour fights. Wendy's. Yeah, and enjoy yourself. Yeah, and have fun with character development over a fight. We like character development over emotions and drinking <laughs> and confusion. Yep. Oh, oh, now I get a 20. <laughs> <sighs> okay, uh, so, Oi, what did you roll for initiative? Uh, I rolled a uh, 16 for initiative. Navinia. I got a 23. <laughs> And Kier. A 10. All right, all of you are going before the Berserker. So, Navinia, what you like doing? Um, I'm going to Animal Friendship? Um, oh yeah, this character has no aggressive spells. I forgot. You have a pistol. You have a gun. Yeah, that's a spell. <laughs> so, uh, the I, best spell of I all. I cast gun. Uh, I have I one off. spell, and it's bullet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have gun. So I, I shift back down. I was like, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. And I pull out my gun, and I fire right at him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have gun here. Uh, <laughs> we have gun here. And I'm firing my poison pistol. One of the two guns I had. Who gave me guns? Um, I stole them. <laughs> <laughs> gave them to you, you took them. Uh, and you are going to have disadvantage on this uh, firing because it is gun. What? Uh, but I have gun and I go- I'm go. i good at gun. Oh, okay. Then never mind. You just have normal roll for gun. Yeah, I, I have gun before, right? Yeah, you have gun before. I have gun before. Yep, Luke, okay. I have gun before. Good point. You have gun before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are my... What is it? It's, I'm looking at uh, you my, get plus two. A plus two. All right, I got a 15. Uh, that is enough to hit it, so that's going to be 1d10. Plus... 2d10 poison. So, 3d10. A 22 damage. Holy uh, crap. Plus the extra two. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> you can go oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Plus that extra two. 24 damage? Is it 24 damage? Uh, yeah, you shoot him with the pistol, <laughs> and it goes through his... <laughs> Hide armor. And he's like, 
No! No! <laughs> Boy, it's your turn. All right. Uh... <laughs> Just shoot a man. I shot a kid. <laughs> uh, it goes through Hydem and the wall and the wall behind that one. Um, Alright, uh, all right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, uh, you know, like push kick him right in the chest where the bullet hole is. Oh no! Ooh. Punch him in the wound! Hold on, let me just roll it a bit. Put uh, fists in the wound. 15. Oh, uh, that is enough to hit. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna make another unarmed strike. And another 15. Uh, that also hits. Alright, and I'm gonna roll, so 2d4 for damage. That is uh, 4 plus 3. Hold on. And uh, so it's seven and another seven. So 14 damage. Just ora, ora. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. We were having a heart to heart. This guy interrupted us. <laughs> yeah. And he takes extra damage because you punched him no right one, in the bullet hole. No one interrupts our character development. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you try to make violence into this? <laughs> Yeah, you hear an RPG Pals Club, you know, it's more about the character interactions. Anyway, oh my what she did. Nani! Oh, goodness. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Sorry, collecting myself. Okay. This is, I'm gonna get you, suckers, lever, a level of, like, ridiculous. <laughs> oh, um, God. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I would like to throw the dagger mm-hmm. uh, into the wound. Um, <laughs> obviously. Mm-hmm. It's clearly what we're doing. Also, it looks super cool because it comes out of my hand and is thrown in one swift motion. And I think you just fire it like a gun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, actually, Luke, we should be very careful with that. I'm already playing a little fast and loose with the rules. It says that it takes an action to get my packed weapons out. Okay. You had it out, though, so, before, because you talked about I having I them out. I had it out before. So. I, I talked yeah. about having them out. I'm just saying mm-hmm. it looks cool. Like, in the six seconds that have elapsed mm-hmm. as this all goes down, I have swung my hand out, there's a dagger, and then it fires out. Mm-hmm. It does shoot out, but I can't do it all at once. No, that's fair. That's fair. But we can't turn Kier into a gun. <laughs> not yet, not now. <laughs> oh, y'all don't even know about the fucking oh, no. uh improved packed weapon I took. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. <laughs> That's a 23 to hit. To hit. Y- yeah, you hit. Oh my god. <laughs> I hit that fucker. All right. Um I'm not doing a lot of damage, but I'm guessing that I don't have to. Mhm. Slash banking on it. All right. Oh, uh, that's a four plus three for seven. Uh, yeah, he is still up and kicking, though. Uh, he did take a bit of extra I, damage. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> and it is his turn, and uh, I'm going to roll to see how he feels about this. Uh, oh, no, he's just angry. Oh, Berserkers have a thing, like, bad. yeah, where if they go down too much, they have to keep fighting in the camera. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, so the Berserker is going to go and... I think they're going after the person with gun. And is like it a gun good gun thing or arm have? gun? <laughs> gun gun. Okay. Uh, the first person to hit them. Uh, luckily, they had advantage because their second roll uh, to hit was a one. Uh, so yeah, does a 18 hit you, Navinia? Yes, it does. Yes. <laughs> and they are going... Oh, that is not good. Uh, that is 15 damage. I hate it. Uh, and Navinia, you get a big ol' axe, uh, onto you, and it is your turn. I don't like it. Uh, I look at him and I say, my vest. (laughs) I look up at him again, and I just, I shoot him. I shoot him again. I do a shoot. (laughs) Uh, you have to load that before you can shoot again. I shoot him with my regular gun. Okay. Your can wait. Just do it like Reaper from the Overwatch game. Just <laughs> yeah. So he hits me like in the shoulder. I'm holding my bad gun in, and mm-hmm. like ha, huh? and I'm like, what the fuck? And I just reach and I pull up my other gun with my other hand, so now I'm dual wielding, and I just shoot him. <laughs> okay. Uh, and it's a plus two, so I get a uh, nope, uh, eighteen. 
I was like, 16 plus 2 is 17, right? Oh, uh, yeah, so you're still hitting this guy. Yeah, and it's just a 1d10 plus 2 this time. Oh, only. <laughs> just a just a 1d10 plus 2. A 7. Not bad. A plus plus 2 is a 9. Yeah, so he's looking pretty woozy. Oi, do you want to finish this? Yeah, I'm going to kick him. All right, uh, so I'm going to roll for unarmed strike. Uh, that is an 8. Uh, 23. Yeah. And I'm going to roll another unarmed strike. That is a one. Ooh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, well, roll damage for both of them. Okay. Uh, I rolled a seven for the first mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. And a four for the second one. Uh, okay, so you uh, hit him with that first strike for seven damage, but then you hit Navinia on accident when he drops. Ooh. For the oh, second one my for vest. <laughs> And I think that knocks you down to zero, Navinia. For how much? No! For four damage, exactly. I say, ow, my... Uh. <laughs> 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 no, Oi, Oi tries to do the, the spinning kick from Street Fighter, and he hits him with the first one, and then hits Navinia on the rebound. <laughs> <laughs> like, Atsansuken! You know, that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There were many spinning kicks. I wasn't sure which one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. All right. Oh. Oh, 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 I can't do anything about that. Neither can I. I say as I uh, get the rapier, and um, yeah, I'm just going to rush this dude. <laughs> you hurt my friend. Uh, he's I, already down. Like... Oh, he's already dead? Yeah. Oh, he's just dead. Okay, so I'm not just saying this in six seconds. Okay, okay, okay. Just do either of us have a potion? <laughs> uh let me check um i do not i don't think i do either <laughs> no nope. well there's two of us so and we're in an alley so we can probably carry her back into Durnan. okay okay i like i like this plan let's uh the bouncer will not let you in oh yeah i can't let you in you don't have tickets for tonight's grimshack show did one of you stabilize me with a medicine check i mean death saves Oh yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, I'll I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Neither of us are proficient. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Let's before I meta this too hard. Uh, what's your wisdom bonus, Oi? Uh, mine is a plus one. Okay, you do it. <laughs> All right. I've made one death save so far as a thirteen. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, so I, I try to rush over and try to stabilize her, and I roll a uh, 16. Hey. Yeah, that's a good stable. Okay. That's a good stable. Hey, do y'all need some help uh, getting somewhere? Uh, yeah, like, to a doctor. Like, now. How do you know which? Healer, cleric, whatever. Uh. Choose your favorite cleric. Ooh. Mm, uh, Dodger. Who, who lives Hard within choice. the city walls. And you could get us to quickly. Yeah, uh, so I think they start heading north. And that is when you see Dodger and Koyos' cart uh, do we crossing see them? your paths. What? Yeah. Uh, do we see what they have with them? Mm, no, I think you probably have Nim, like, hiding on the ground in the cart. Yeah, yeah. Nim's not, like, right out there in the open. I'm you not put dumb. him in the middle seat. I got a decent wisdom. Sc- there's, there's a cloak over Nim. Yeah, of course. I, I put my cloak uh, cloak over them. I have a decent wisdom score. <laughs> that doesn't mean I don't make bad choices. <laughs> wow. You just know they're bad before you make them. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you see this cart with two of your other two friends in them. Um, we'll catch up, right? Yeah, we can catch up later. Dodger is a cleric. Oh fuck. <laughs> we both remember this in Navinia's voice. We, were, we flash back to a conversation where both of us were wondering what Dodger is, and Navinia chimes in with, Dodger is a cleric. <laughs> Hold on, follow, turn around. How quickly can you turn this around? We need that, that dog boy. <laughs> hey, dog boy! Hey, dog boy! Uh, this, this metal man wants you. Dodger is glaring. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, well, have I, you ever seen? Did you, have you ever seen like a picture of like a husky in a car, and they're just kind of gl- they have that face? 
(laughs) (laughs) It's that. Well, I didn't ask him to say it like that. Hello, Dodger. I, we've had a night, the two of us, before even what's happening right now, but, and then I, like, lift up Navinia's bloody body. I go, move. (laughs) And, (laughs) and I, like, get out uh, of the cart and push here out of the way so I can get to work. I tumble to the ground. I have negative one strength. (laughs) That is how that would go down. Yeah. Uh Um, and then I'm going to cast a spell. Uh, namely, I'm going to cast, uh, Cure Wounds. As a level two or a level one? I'm going to do it as a level two. I got the spell slots. Fuck else have we used them for? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) This is not me complaining. (laughs) Lend me your power. Make whole. And then my, my gloved hand kind of glows and I'm slowly kind of putting it over Navinia's wound and healing mm-hmm. it and i'm going to actually cast that as a second level spell mm. Huzzah. and that is going to let me actually read that l- rules text uh 2d8 plus three plus three 12 you Yay. get 12 for our argument we had it can wait till later i uh, this is something that is more important well obviously it's our friend uh i set up and go <gasps> And then I look at Dodger and I hug Dodger. Dodger just looks really startled by this, ears up and face red. (laughs) And then he gently hugs back. Yeah. Dodger, I'm so glad to see you. There was a man in an alley. Did we loot him? Oh, it's terrifying. Did we get all of his stuff? Oh, I hope there's no notes left behind. (sighs) Guys, can I go fight? What? I shot him twice. And I kind of poke my head above them. (laughs) You were bleeding out. We weren't going to huh? loot. There was no time to wait. We should go check the... Oh, wait, let's go check the body. <laughs> we're like 15 <laughs> feet away. We got into a carriage. It started off. We met another carriage. We got out of the carriage. <laughs> How far away are we from the alley? Uh, you're like a good two or three blocks away. Uh, I'm, I'm hoofing it. I'm dipping. Yeah, same. They did a good job uh, stabilizing you. Whatever yeah. they did. Uh, you should thank them, too. Oh, I will. Uh, but they're emotionally compromised, so I won't give them a hug right now. Fair. Yes. I know the feeling. How are you doing? Who is your friend? <laughs> <laughs> are we just standing around with the nimble, right? Like, just kind of in the cloak, hanging out? Uh, this is Nim. They're alive. Hello, I'm also alive. Lovely to meet you. They wave. He doesn't talk a lot, but he's a very good friend. Oh, that's lovely. We're trying to get them someplace safe. Uh, Let's take him to the house. Are you sure? No. Let's go. Let's go get our friends. (laughs) (laughs) The house is a pretty good place. At least we own it. Dodger looks really weird about it, but he's not going to fight it. We go meet up with our friends who ran to a body. Yeah, you, uh, they get to the body and there is no money currently on the person. Do you want to roll a perception check? I think it would be more of an, I'm, I'm like giving him the, the up and down. Or, yeah, yeah, give a investigation roll. That's just plus one. Um, so 15? Okay, uh, so on a 15, you end up finding a scrap of paper that was on them. They still don't have any, like, money or, like, any valuables on them. They had their axe, but that's it. Take the axe. Uh, what does the scrap of paper say? Uh, it seems to be different locations and dates. And the location that lines up today is this intersection where you were accosted. That is weirdly specific. Hmm. What's the next... I'm, like, showing it to Oi. And what's the next date? Uh, it is tomorrow. Where? Uh, at a- another intersection. Around this area, but not, like, within three or four blocks. Okay. Oh, this is, as our friend Dodger would say, a mystery. Or this is a clue? He would say one of those two things. Yeah. I mean, he's talking a lot about those Carly Cat books, but uh, I, I don't know what kind of languages those are because, you know, I mean, I tried reading the first one. And it was like, all right, there's no pictures and, you know, so, you know, I mean, eh. Honestly? If if between you and me, books without pictures bore the absolute hell out of me. You are missing really? a beautiful story about female friendship. 
And Says I- Dodger as he comes around the corner. <laughs> My interests usually lie in atlases, histories, encyclopedias, but at least they give me like a diagram of what they're talking about. I can match things up. It's so helpful as a learning tool. Right. Yes. But the thing about books is you can make your own thing up. Well, then Oi uh, puts his backpack down and pulls out the book of um, the DIY book slash Elvish porn book. <laughs> just like, you know, like this book. So, oh, I mean, I'm God. loving this book. And then he just like opens it up pacing uh, Kier and is just like pointing at different pages like that he's dog-eared. <laughs> One of the pages like unfolds a few feet. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a tall chair. Right. <laughs> It's a tiger bridge. Here's eyes like, go wide. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of debris back at the place. And I was thinking of making this thing. Anyway, <laughs> here's this really weird <laughs> position that only Genasi can do. <laughs> <laughs> I think that you and I have reached our sharing threshold. And Oi goes, fair enough, and then closes the book and puts it back in his knapsack. <laughs> and Nevedi just looks at Dodger and says, this is what happens when we leave them. I didn't ask for him to show me pornography. <laughs> you better keep what? a closer eye then. I d- who gave it to him? I bought it. It was at the store. You bu- and you're just parading it around. Well, yeah, it's an awesome book. It shows you how to build stuff, and it also has pictures of titties and wieners in it. Wait, what? <laughs> Let's discuss this not, back in the house. We will not show it to him. We are going back. We to the have house. children here, and I put my arm around the little uh, automaton. Here. I'm sorry. What? We have to get what our is... friend to safety. Can I see under the the cloak a little bit? Mm-hmm. Who is our friend? This is Nim. Dodger just glares at Cleos. <laughs> 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 what? He asked what his name was. Let's go home. We go home. <laughs> uh, yeah. S- Just so stare you... at Nim the entire ride home. Uh, yeah, so you get in and there is... or you, So you get back to Troll Skull Manor and there is a notice on the door. Uh-oh. What's that say? Uh, the notice lets you know that the house has been uh, investigated recently. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh. I run in. <laughs> uh, it looks to be fairly fine and uh, lift waves when you all return. Yeah. I, I, I get out. Uh, I, I go over to Lyft's notebook uh, and see what, what notes he has written down about the events that happened while we were away. Mm-hmm. Uh, he no- Dodger's going to take back his badge uh, from from Nim, though, when no one's looking. I get Nim a new fancy cloak. <laughs> uh, Lyft notes that there was a, uh investigator. Uh, he did what he could to hide, and they took a look around, went down to the basement, uh, checked some things out, walked around the uh, second floor, got chased off by the dogs, and then left. <laughs> There are so many dogs. Good boys. Good girls. <laughs> Superstar good DJs. Uh, did they take anything? No. Okay. Uh, Oi goes to the basement to check on his floor shrooms. Uh, I mean, one of them was stopped. One of them was stomped on, but that's <gasps> the worst thing that happened. Okay, good. <laughs> Not the floor shrooms. And uh, also, this is when uh, Ripley and Columbo have officially joined the dog pack. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! They were with us the whole time. Yep. Mm-hmm. So many dogs. And new dogs. They're good doggos. They were quiet the whole time. Good dogs. Good dogs. They were very respectful of the emotional <laughs> turmoil we all went through that I wasn't a part of. And when the video shot a guy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> They're like, yep, that happens. <laughs> Listen, you, you don't shoot a guy and tell. Dogs immediately turn around like, I didn't see shit. <laughs> Just try me, coppers. I didn't see a thing. I ain't no snitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I am going to handle this very calmly. If I have not been through so much today, I... who is Nim? The nimble right that I told you was alive. I wasn't planning on taking them back here. I I wasn't sure where I was going to take them next, though. So you took them? Yes. Nim here with you because they want to be? Yeah, of course. 
I look over at Nim. I asked them in everything. This was a choice that they made. Get really close to Nim. Big wave. You can stay with me. I have a few oils and tonics that should keep things in working order. We don't run on the same thing, but at the very least, I do know that Grit is a real son of a bitch. Dodger, next time you kidnap an automaton, make sure that you keep him free of dust. Right. I'm sorry. Maybe not on the floor of a carriage. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, and that is a sorry with layers. Significant PC sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry as well. Nim, do you need anything? Uh, how are you doing? And I'm like kind of bending joints and looking at his fingers where stuff could collect. Uh, so they try and make some hand signals, but... Like, I don't think anybody here speaks sign language. Mm -mm. Uh, nope, not this character. Yeah, not this character, to a uh, different character. I didn't know that was an option. Coils can't even read, so. Uh, they make a s <laughs> signal for something to write on. You you think I would have taken fucking Elvish if I knew <laughs> ASL was an option? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who needs Elvish? Jeez. I always figured ASL was Thieves Can't. Hmm. Uh -huh. I mean, that would okay, be sense. yeah, we uh, hand him. Wait, if it's AS, wait, Elvish and ASL. I mean, does that mean I can understand him? Mm, no. Okay. No, Elvish is different uh, from ASL. All right. Yeah. Uh, so they like illustrate tools. Uh, are there any that I recognize or that I have on hand? Because I do self maintenance. Uh, yeah, like that's what they're looking for. Okay. Yes. Uh, to my study quickly. We'll we'll get you what you need. They uh, with the follow you up. Mm -hmm. I know Mending, Dodger <laughs> says, like, calling up after them. <laughs> that turned out better than expected. Hooray! Are we all good now, everybody? Yes. Yeah, but how long until they notice that they're gone? <laughs> Specifically looking at Dodger. <laughs> Do Dodger, Dodger is, like, kind of, like, scratching behind his ne uh, neck and kind of going, we're getting there. All right, that's better than nothing. Koyos, I, I have an odd request. Yeah? Can you open this box for me? You open the box? Don't you, you open the box. I open the box. You open the box <laughs> and I hold the box towards you. <laughs> I open the box. Uh, there is a card inside. Oh. Purple Koyos oh. card? Mm-hmm. Purple Koyo cedar. Oh. Now Koyos. It's uh -huh. Koyos We've discovered what this box does, but here's something that I'm going to need your help with. I need you to help me have the dogs push open the box with their noses so we can get cards for all of the dogs we have. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, uh, yeah. We can do that. Very good. This is the most important thing I've ever done in my whole life. <laughs> this is an animal handling check if I ever heard one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Roll that animal handling. I can do that. But also... With advantage because I'm helping? Yes. Well, also, I, I would like to remind everybody that I, as a druid, have speech of the woods. Oh. So beasts can understand my speech. Double advantage. Oh. So I can just talk to them and be like, hey, you want to open this box for me? Thanks. Like. But I will roll that animal handling. Do we have to commission purple dog trading cards now? <laughs> <laughs> Or is this one of those things where we expect the fans to do it at some point? Oh, look, content? it'll get done at some point. We'll have a whole deck of trading dogs. <laughs> trading dogs. It's a, it's a dog deck. This uh, is, that is a 23, like a, by the this way. This is weirdly uh, becoming a host club for dogs. Yeah, you're going to put them on the walls. Which one do you want to have dinner with? <laughs> Pick your dog. <laughs> so, Barry, Mary, Rosie, Callie, Ozzy, Goku, Ripley, and Columbo all get normal dog cards. Bowser and Roger, the dogs don't, or the cards don't come out correctly. When you say that they don't come out correctly. How do they come out? <laughs> yeah, what's... Uh, they come out sort of like a circle. Ah. <sighs> mm. Do you think it's out of ink? Like the card itself is circular or like... Can, can I check the box to see if there's like an ink <laughs> cartridge that's run out? <laughs> Uh, there is not an ink. What happens is, like, the card comes out with the frame and everything, and just where, like, everyone else has the portrait, there is this circle that has a very light spot, uh, or there's, like, a heavy ringed purple circle that's a very light purple on the inside. Oh, mm. I opened the box myself again. Uh, yeah, it's another Koyos card. <gasps> oh, weird. Some of the dogs didn't come out right. 
Which witch dogs were they? Can you type them into the thing? Uh, Bowser and Roger. Bowser and Roger. Out of curiosity, I take my card out and the the, the, the initial card I bought, and then I open the box again. Uh, yeah, you uh, have your card out, and you notice like now that there is a lot more fine details on this. Uh, there's differences between you and the, like, drow that looked like you on that first card that you got. Okay. <gasps> it wasn't you. Was it a purple herring? It's a purple herring. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, okay. It's a different drow. I was wondering about that, because, like, at no point did Oi open the box. Yeah, and I was like, wait a second. I just thought like it was like a collector's thing, but now that another the box prints cards. Huh. I go tell Dodger. I keep both my card and uh the apparently not my card in my backpack. I go to Dodger and I say, Dodger, you have to see this. It's amazing. And then I like loop under your arm unless you're like crying or meditating what? and I pull you along into the dog room. D- what the pile of dogs I'm, that are surrounding this box and cards. Oh no, he was just staring mournfully out the window. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which, you can I you mean, can mope later. Come nothing. on, let's go. <laughs> just doing yeah. a five old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, straight up five olds. Yes. We're gonna make we're gonna make you a card and you can give it to your friends, like, I don't know, who's that one you're always not talking about? Diego? That's the one. Tricking you into saying it. <laughs> D- <laughs> I, he's not my he's 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 not my friend. Oh, of course. No, 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 He's mm. stupid jerk. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's just really confident. Sure. And has really good eyes. Right. Doesn't mean anything. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> Such a jerk. You know what helps you hold on to that rage that you feel is if you get him to open this box and he gets a card and you change cards and maybe you like write your addresses down on the back and like maybe go out for coffee or something. Anyways, yeah. open this box. I mean, rivals, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm just thinking about the Kate Beaton comic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's like the, the card on the fucking bed. Uh. Yeah, it's like under your pillow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dodger opens the box. Uh, there's a Dodger card. Whoa. It just makes these? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, w- I wonder if Liv opens the box, it'll give us an image of what he looked like when he was alive. <gasps> <gasps> I run downstairs. I, Dodger is currently contemplating where exactly these cards are being conjured from. Check this out. And I'm going to show Dodger mo- both of my Koyo's cards and all of the dogs, including the messed up ones. Bowser and Roger. Bowser and Roger. Wait, which ones are these two? It's Bowser and Roger, but like, that's what happened. Something has to be off of them, right? Like, I mean, they seem like normal dogs to me. Right? And I'm pet- I'm petting all of the time. There's gotta be, like, a something different that stands out about them. Of a v- variable, right? Maybe. I, maybe I'm overthinking it because I've just been thinking about detectives a lot. Kier calls down to for Dodger. We'll put it on the mystery list. Right there on the mystery list. I'll be right back. Dodger's gonna go upstairs. So, we're in the study, and I'm assuming that is Nim just doing his, uh, their own repairs? Oh, Nim is, like, looking for, like, pieces that are broken, like, if there is any random junk to start building things. And I'm I'm just, like, watching that. Mm-hmm. And I, uh, gesture over to Dodger. Hey, uh, what's up? I'm not in trouble, am I? In trouble? I'm not your guardian. Look, you made extremely rash choice to endangered your safety and the safety of Nim here and Koyos, I would assume. That was their choice, but yeah. You, Dodger, I know you. I've known you for about a week, but I do know you. You led the charge on this, yes? I did. You presented him, presented Koyos the option to come and presented Nim the option to leave? I did. I also know that you didn't do this lightly. May have been impulsive, but it's because you believe this is right. I always try to do what I think is right. And I don't think I'm always the best at judging what that is, though. Including trying to tell a friend. Yeah, I know you wouldn't do that stuff. But you have to, I mean, look at them. They were clearly different things. I'm not... I, I'm aware, I, but... I, there, There is 
even if they're alive. Something's separating us just as there's something separating you and me. But nevertheless, I'm not here to harp on this. I didn't ask you to come up here for that. I just wanted thank you. There may be a lot separating Nim and I, but one thing that I think we share is a propensity to be used. Yeah, I I know what it's like to kind of not know which way is the right way, I guess. And sometimes you listen to people that you shouldn't. Just want you to know that this is your responsibility. You need to see this through. Whatever happens next, on you. I'm on it. Uh, I'm looking for the other one. They created a nimble right themselves. And that's who or what was being used to do that mess outside our door. And they were targeting Zentarum. You know that, right? I do, but um, the ones that they managed to target, not sure if they're able to make the distinction, but they're the kind that I'm none too pleased with. The kind that I might throw away decorum in the middle of the street and attack. That sort of Zentarum. I didn't know you drew that line. Oh, oh, there is a rich, deep, unfortunate, bloody, violent... Sad, kind of funny history <clears throat> or organization. I'd like to hear it sometime. I'm kind of into history. Well, I'll have to weigh the benefits of telling you and possibly being excommunicated any further. Uh, did I tell you that I... Look, it's been a long day. I can do this now, and I, like, pull the knife out through my wrist. That's a weird knife. See, it's matchy-matchy. I'm, like, pointing to the knife, pointing to some decoration on my wrist. I... I noticed that. Ugh. Today? I think I definitely, I definitely don't think it's the right time for this, but if you ever want to talk about where you come from, I have an open ear. I put a hand on Dodger's shoulder. That requires me to know anything. And then I just go sit in my, I sit in my sleeping chair. I just kind of kick the floor and go, mm, same boat. I, um, I, I don't even say anything more. I, I try and, like, visually signal that I am out of it, and I am yeah. just watching Nim. Yeah, I'm gonna go go back downstairs before they get suspicious. What's Nim managed to build in this time? Uh, like, it's only been a few minutes. It looks like they're doing some sort of inner, uh, like, mechanics piece. Uh, and just, like, I imagine there's probably a, a pocket watch, a, a wind-up bird. Mm -hmm. No, fancy things study where you have your oddities anyway yeah i'm just watching that mm, curious to see the next step cut back to touch or going downstairs <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's uh cut back down as sort of everybody is settling in for i guess what is going to be an early evening considering how but i have a question about lift oh yes does the lift get a card oh yeah uh yeah lift is able to open it up and it looks like a ghostly half elf oh oh okay yeah that looks about right so it worked on him. Yeah. Why not these dogs? Oh. Huh. Hmm. Weird. We'll figure. Maybe they're magic dogs. Yeah. Magic dogs? They're magic dogs. That's, is that a possibility? I mean, anything's if possible. If this thing is using, if this thing's using divination, uh, maybe it's, they're blocked from it? I don't know. Do they have any special, like, anti-scrying collars? I'm not a- I, I, yeah. <laughs> Dodger's, Dodger's like, I'm not a wizard. <laughs> we don't have a wizard here. I mean, if you want to check, Dodger, make a arcana check with disadvantage. Absolutely. Disadvantage. <laughs> mystery of these dogs. That's all the dog mystery. Oh, uh, well, these are some okay rolls. Let's see what my bonus is. I've just had a terrible thought. And I don't want it to be true. <laughs> uh, uh, eleven. Uh, you, you got nothing. You're a, you're a cleric. You haven't gone to a cleric school even. You got nothing. <laughs> yeah, this isn't this isn't cleric stuff. <laughs> you know, this isn't dead. Yeah, I know what ghosts are. I can make them go away. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick can tell y'all one thing about this box, and this box is not a ghost. It's not a ghost. <laughs> well, not a ghost. All right. <laughs> so. Though he definitely should look into going to cleric school with the elephant man. <laughs> <laughs> Private elephant school. Private <laughs> Elephants, private. They never forget. He's probably very wise. <laughs> he, he he knows so much. He can't forget any. He knows so much. I mean, he's a cleric. It makes sense. 
All right. So, uh, Dodger, what are you going to do for the rest of the evening? Uh, he's going to unpack. He doesn't have a lot. Emotionally or physically? Uh, both. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to stay. He's not going away. He's in it for the long haul. Okay. And I think he realizes that just running away from this isn't an option. Not that he was going to. He was going to still solve the mystery. He's not a complete jerk. But he's going to unpack his stuff. You know, his, uh, his books, his deerstalker hat, both of which are newer things, but also older things. Like that badge that has Kelly along the edge and a moonstone in the middle. And maybe take off his locket a bit and flick that open as he thinks about, you know, not really knowing where he comes from either. Uh, let it play its little song and look at that stars or the stars on on the inside kind of slowly swivel. It's a star line that he doesn't recognize, but feels like he should. All right. And what about Oi? Uh, Oi is probably looking through like some of the leftover debris and, you know, like just stuff that was kind of in the house when we first came in that we probably pushed off to the side. And he's looking through uh, the book, which I the best name I've been able to come up for it is uh, Estrella's Cookbook. Mm hmm. It's like the anarchist cookbook and like trying to see if he can, you know, make something before he tucks in for the night. Uh, roll me just a straight up intelligence check. Minus one. This is going to be fun. Uh, nat 20. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Faye wants you to uh, build stuff. Minus one, but, you know, 19. But hey, I don't know how that works. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a nat 20. You're yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Uh, wow, I was not really expecting you to be able to build anything. You have surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he's a DIY crust punk. Like halves of barrels. Yeah. Makes shampoo. Uh, so I think what you uh, accident not really accidentally, but what you're trying to make. Like a foldable picnic bench? Have you seen those? You fold them into like like four by one foot things and then they fold out into like... Oh. Like full picnic benches that you can sit on, not like giant ones at uh, national parks, but it's amazing. Oh, one. They're fantastic. Still rules, yeah. Uh, you actually end up making a lock and key. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. And a chair. Yeah. <laughs> Make a lock, key, and a chair. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it's it's a tiny it's a tiny lock that also doubles as a chair. It folds out to a chair. <laughs> you unlock it, and it becomes a chair. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so like, okay, so it's one of those things. It's like a fold out. It's basically like a futon, but a chair. It's like a pup tent. Okay. Yeah. All right, it's cool. A pup tent chair. Lock. <laughs> yeah, so he pops out his chair and sits on it and admires his handiwork and uh, puts his hands behind his head and just starts to fade a little bit. Uh, so we then cut to uh, Navinia. What are you up to this evening? Um, I'm, it's been an emotional day. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I am, if it's okay with Koyos, I want to hang out with Koyos and the dogs and uh, write down like special dog facts about each dog. And then on the the dogs that don't have like a portrait, I'm like trying to draw pictures of them in the circle instead. <laughs> Just trying to draw pictures of Dodger, or not Dodger, why, uh, why Bowser Dodger? and Roger. Bowser. Bowser and Roger. You combine the two, it becomes Bodger. <laughs> it becomes Dodger. <laughs> I'm dyslexic where I switch B's and P's like up and down and back and forth. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, boy. So if you flip that B yeah. around, it's a D. The old English thorn would be a pain of an addition. Yeah. Oh, boy. It's not great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you make some decent dog drawings. I hug every one of those dogs. The all dogs appreciate the dog pile. it. And all the noises are those dogs. Play. <laughs> 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 tapping back and forth on the hardwood floors with exactly. their nails. <laughs> and, like, while while uh, Navinia is doing this, what are you up to, Koyos? I think I'm trying to help with the dog facts. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm not much of an artist, so Koyos is definitely not... He's just kind of watching as Navinia draws the dogs. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh yeah, uh, that looks really me, good. Uh, Koyos, can you roll me a insight check? Insight check? Mm -hmm. Well, wait for that. I'm drawing very cartoony versions of these dogs. It's not the greatest drawings of dogs, <laughs> but I'm trying very hard. 
<laughs> it's probably better than Dodger Shield. Uh, well, <laughs> guess who finally gets in there in that one of the day? <laughs> <laughs> Flip a table. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you're you just distracted by dogs, and I think we just get a... The dog facts. Yes. Uh, you know, dogs are very n- nice and distracting, mm-hmm. but... Uh, yeah, I think there is a sudden cutaway to the outside gates of the city where a halfling is approaching the walls as the uh, sun is starting to go down, dressed in a, like, farmery outfit. And the guard at the door says, Oh, yes, what is your name and occupation? And the man says, I'm a dog breeder named Zog Tita. <laughs> and that is where we end this week on RPG Pals Club. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Oh, Not Zog Tina, the dog breeder. <laughs> <laughs> Our oft-named and never-seen enemy. <laughs> <laughs> now Coilus oh, no. has a rival. Hello there, I've been Eric, a.k.a. Rhythm Bastard. You can find my music at rhythmbastard.rocks. You can support me by going to my Patreon at patreon.com slash rhythmbastard. You can buy my merch at rhythmbastard.bandcamp.com. I've been Gar Atkins, and you can follow me on Twitter at Sahoni underscore stuff. That's S-A-H-O-N-I underscore stuff. I work as a game designer and guest podcaster now. I'm currently working on a game called Exceptionals inspired by x-men about the spaces and communities that marginalized people create for themselves and i'm getting real close to first playable so look out for that i am also on a weekly political events podcast called barking points as a contributor i'm gina dazer uh you can find me on twitter at a d a s e r a dazer that's my name Uh, i'm an illustrator and game designer and cat wrangler occasionally I, i just do a bunch of stuff you know I'm Sam. You can find me on Twitter at frunding underscore loom. That's F-R-O-O-N-D-I-N-G underscore L-O-O-M. You can also hear me on the Exiled podcast that we do with our Game Master Luke. Now, if you're hearing this at the intended time, we'll be wrapping up or we'll have just wrapped up. So thanks for listening to Exile. We've got a big old archive for you to dig into. And if you like RPG Pals Club, you'll probably like that. I'm Madison Rowan. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at QuipsterRecrew. That is Q-U-I-P-S-T-E-R-R-I-K-U-R-U. All one word. Yeah. And I've been Luke, your Game Master. Uh, when you are listening to this, we've had it out for a week or so already. But uh, we now have a Discord that you can join. It's actually the Discord we record in. We just have that segmented off. But if you want to come and get some Discord Pokemon and talk about the show with other people or, you know, just have a good support group of people online, feel free. Uh, it is usually linked on uh, our Twitter, which is RPG Pals Club. Also, I'm online on Twitter at at Coltreg. That's K-O-L-T-R-E-G. Exiled got mentioned. I also still do MultiversalQ slash UltiversalQ at MultiversalQ.com slash UltiversalQ.com. You find us online at RPGPals.club. Please like, rate, and review us. Uh, follow us on Twitter because we do contests so you get to occasionally name characters. Uh, we'll also put requests so you can get your own dogs in for dog cameos. We'll catch you later. Peace.